Hi, I'm Denby Dung. Welcome to the Pet Hui. Today we come to you from the VCA Kaneohe, and I'd like to introduce you to one of their newest members, Dr. Lam, who specializes not only in dogs and cats, but also exotic animals. Yeah, that's right. I'm happy to see our pet birds, reptiles, including turtles, tortoises, as well as our smaller furry friends, so rabbits, mice, and rats. Wow. And how many pets do you have? I have right now two dogs and one cat. And how do they get along? They get along great. Really? Well, I have five dogs. Oh my goodness. That's and cool. Yes. And I've come to the conclusion that I might be allergic to them. Oh. I had always wondered if chihuahuas were hypoallergenic dogs. So to find out, I went to Dr. Cam, head of allergy and asthma at Straub Hospital. This is Sean, my buddy, who's a Bichon Freeze. And I've heard some terms that they say Sean is a hypoallergenic dog. And I kind of disagree with that terminology. Uh, if you have a dog allergy, you can be allergic to any dog. And I'd hate for someone to be told that this dog is a hypoallergenic dog and go purchase him and find out that they're having some bad allergies and have to get rid of him. So I think the correct way to look at this is that if you have a dog allergy, the potential for allergic reactions can occur with any kind of breed, although some breeds we consider to be a little bit better for people with dog allergies like the terriers and the chihuahuas, the smaller breeds. But in any case, I think um, you need to determine whether you're actually allergic to dog with like skin testing and blood testing and get on the right medications if you do have a dog or allergy shots. Torn between the stuffy, scratchy symptoms and being able to hold and love my furry friend, I decided to send the Pet Hui crew to Straub Hospital so we could talk to Dr. Cam to find out what my options were. So over the 22 years I've been practicing as an allergist immunologist, one of the biggest problems is when people uh, think they're allergic to their pets. And then the question is, what should we do? Should we get rid of the pet? Can we live with the pet? Uh, how do we make ourselves comfortable? They are usually suffering. They have eye itching, nasal itching, sneezing, sometimes even asthma attacks can occur. The first thing I mentioned to them is let's determine is it really your cat or dog or pet that's causing your problem. I'm going to be doing allergy testing. So what it is is I'm going to be doing two controls, a histamine, saline, and then I'm going to be testing you for a dog. Right now we're testing a Micah for dog allergy. He uh, is being pricked with three different things, dog extract and what we call two controls. One of the controls is histamine, which is the allergic substance. So he should get a very large mosquito bite-like bump with the histamine. The negative control is saline, which is salt water, and that should be negative. So hopefully we'll see a bump with the histamine, and if he has a dog allergy, a bump with the dog, and a negative saline. Okay, Mike, it's been 20 minutes getting itchy here. All right, so we can see here that the histamine control is a nice positive. Our negative saline control is negative. There's no bump there. And you see the dog is starting to react here. So you have a little like mosquito bite reaction. So Micah, the bad news is you have a dog allergy, but the good news is I'm not gonna tell you get rid of the dog. But there's some things we do wanna do. I'd rather the dog not. After watching how brave Michael was, I decided to do the same. So I made an appointment with Dr. Cam. I'm a little nervous about being, well, you know, poked by a needle. So Dr. Cam said they're going to put little scratches on my, on my skin, my forearm, and if I'm allergic to anything, it'll look like a mosquito bite. So the redder the mosquito bite look, the more allergic I am to it. <laughs> I'm not nervous yet. I'm only nervous when I see the needle. <laughs> Pen marks, they're okay. Oh, that's it? Yes. Okay, well normally I cannot even look when I'm getting a shot, but this is not bad at all. It's just a little, like a little scratch. Stitch's nails are sharper than this. If you want to get an allergy test, take it from me, it's not difficult at all. Well, the timer has begun, and in 20 minutes or less, I'm going to find out if I'm allergic to my best friend in the world, Stitchy Poo. We will see. Well, it's only been one minute, and Oh my gosh, it's so itchy already in this area and right here. So my lovely nurse wrote Stitch right here so I can see his progress. So far it's just a little red, but not nearly as red as the dust mites. Well, it has been 10 minutes now and my arm is starting to look like a pepperoni pizza. But the good news is Stitch is the tiniest little pepperoni on this pizza, so. Well, it's been 20 minutes and this is what my arm looks like now. And unfortunately, Stitch is red, so I'm allergic to him. 
After consulting with Dr. Cam, I learned not only was I allergic to stitch, but also to rabbits, cats, and dust mites. But I'm not allergic to cows and horses. Go figure. Here's the advice he gave me. Once we determine that you are allergic to your pet, then we can either institute medications to block the allergies. Some people even go with allergy shots to desensitize themselves with the pets. Other things that we really recommend, rather than getting rid of the pet, is environmental controls. So things like washing the, the dog or the cat weekly helps. Uh, use of air purifiers, HEPA filters, HEPA filters, is also very, very important. And one of the first things I try to make the, the person do is to not let the pet sleep on their bed, if anything. Try to keep it out of the bedroom, at least, if possible. And uh, then there's always medications that can be taken to help, uh, such as the antihistamines you get over the counter. Uh, prescription medications usually work better, but you have to see your doctor for them. And for our cat lovers, you too are in the same boat. Here's more advice from Dr. Cam. When it comes to cat allergies, uh, again, washing the cat helps. And it's not really the hair that causes the allergy. The hair is the vehicle that carries the allergenic oils all over the house and on clothing. Interestingly, they have uh, bred a cat that is non-allergic. They've taken the gene that causes the allergy portion of the oils and have bred it out of the cat, but I've heard that they're up to $3,000 for these cats, and there's a long waiting list. Well, thanks to Dr. Cam, I'm now on my journey to living more comfortably with my buddy Stitch here. If you think you might be allergic to your pet, we think you should do the same.